Hello, 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 hello. Today I am at Kanuma and it's Mansake back again. You can already see how the village of Kanuma looks like in Nyomi. Yes, these are mango trees you already can see. And here I'm on my way to Queen Veg's vegetable garden. Raima in the Nyomi. Yes, you can see, right? It's sort of a bus, but when person meets competence, you know, you just get to go and go get what you just. And uh, today, here is my journey. I'm trekking because. Uh, it was not a very hectic journey but it was not very easy also because I had to cross from Banjul into Bara then Bara I took another car to Kanuma now and I just alighted from the junction now getting into the bush how would I call it a bush right <laughs> yes a bush and these are some castle trees you can already see Yes, some castle trees and this one here right here is a mango tree and it's like bearing some fruits you could already see right this is how the mango fruits look like yes and it is quite interesting here Man I don't know if I even once had a taste of this kind of mango <laughs> you know diversity environments and how crops can adapt it's very different even in one country yes in same country like in the Gambia you can see mangoes in some part of the Gambia that are quite similar but different also in terms of taste and everything so still on my way I don't know if I'll be able to trace this route because the first time I came here I was struggling but I think yes I won't be lost I'll find my way to Queen's Fudges it's interesting you know and quite fascinating to excavate to travel to discover new places more explicitly things that have to do with agriculture it's really interesting so I think yes that is the Fence that I'm seeing here, but it seems this is another garden. It seems this is another garden. This is a castle tree losing some of its leaves or lost some of its leaves due to I don't know is it bushfire or what. But yeah, it seems it's having some of the leaves down. You can see this is another garden and that is a toilet. So let me bring it closer to your view. You can see right. So people are into agriculture here also yes like it is said grow what you eat and eat what you grow Gambians are trying to live by that slogan you know yes quite fascinating here so I'm still on my way and uh, I'm enjoying this journey because I am a passionate somebody when it comes to agriculture so I'm always ready to go and find out new places what are some of the things people doing and this one will really got you hooked up on the camera or on your screen there you will be like wow what is going on in the Gambia we never thought this is possible right you'll be like is this possible no it is not this is some kind of no I'm not believing my eyes but hello <laughs> You're gonna see these things live, I promise. You will enjoy them. And you will know, hello, Gambians are really doing their best. Yes, you can see this is another type of, a, how would I say, weed or, anyway, what I know is a plant. And we call this as a mankanaso in Mandinka. And mankanas, I don't know, yes, I think one of those was same thing like that. I don't know if I, um, so and this has some medical benefits according to my dad you know so still on my way just trying to make you see the topography 
the kind of plants and you know the environment here just to give you a gist of how Gambia also looks like in the North Bank region you know, particularly Kanuma yes so this is that see still on my way a very hectic journey like I said I've been engaged all this week so trying to do this video also and also it's not easy to cross from Banyu to Bar at a ferry very demanding so yes still on my way yes very soon I will get to Queen's veggies you could already see it's like I'm already there yes I am not lost finally I made it so you could see these are some of the trunks of trees that they uprooted while they were trying to form the garden or you know come up with the garden as you can understand that it's not easy to have a garden because you need to really do a lot of preparation you know remove some stumps of trees and you know that is all they did here and you can already see this is a castle tree you will see in palm trees up there so here Manzake is a queen's veggies queen's veggies <laughs> you know queen's vegetable garden right oh hello it's like I have to be patient for a minute before they open the door for me yes and you can already see the workers right there these are the great men behind Queen's Badges you can already see them <laughs> quite interesting right and there is Amadou coming to open the gate for me thank you Amadou thank you so you can see it's not a very big farm but not also a very small farm or garden should I say so you know it's interesting here you can see it is friends using a, a wear and all that metal thank you yes queen's veggies you could already see it's like i'm already there yes i am not lost finally i made it so you could see these are some of the trunks of trees that they uprooted while they were trying to form the garden or you know come up with the garden as you can understand that it's not easy to have a garden because you need to really do a lot of preparation you know remove some stumps of trees and you know that is all they did here and you can already see this is a castle tree you will see in palm trees up there so here Manzake is a queen's veggies queen's veggies <laughs> you know queen's vegetable garden right oh hello it's like i have to be patient for a minute before they open the door for me yes and you can already see the workers right there these are the great men behind queen's badges you can already see them <laughs> quite interesting right and there is amadou coming to open the gate for me thank you amadou thank you so you can see it's not a very big farm but not also a very small farm or garden should I say so you know it's interesting here you can see it is friends using a, a wire and all that metal thank you yes and okay here I am still in the garden and this is the gate you can see the small one okay and this is a house that they prepared or that they built specially for their seedlings propagation because it's very difficult here to prepare seedlings in the open so what they do is they prepare the seedlings inside this house because sometimes squirrels and other rodents do really disturb them so I'm right in the door so you can already see these are some materials that is used to spray crops to prevent them from attacks of insects so this is okay containing some kind of a humus that is used to prepare seedlings 
you could already see so sometimes they improvise this one is you know uh, it's kind of a pan but they've put some holes you could see holes so that it will allow percolation of air and you know and you know so that the water will run down you know aeration level of the soil will be improved and percolation also so that is what they're doing here you could already see these are some seedlings yes seedlings and uh, what they take is kind of a box they put some humus inside it prepare these seedlings yes queen's veggies is really doing great thanks to queen's veggies for giving us the opportunity to understand that gambians need to try their soil you have to try you don't just sit and say oh this is not possible and like i said i have a surprise for you here you're gonna be shocked you'll be like wow in the gambia doing this yes it's possible it's possible you could already see so the, the the garden extends to that far end there like you can already see and that is Amadou uh, I don't want to get you to the surprise very soon but it's like we're already at the surprise place what are you already seeing here are these not strawberries yes these are strawberries hello how are they doing this wow you could see right these are strawberries right you can see with your naked eyes <laughs> this is not some kind of magic right so gambians are doing it gambians are doing it so thanks to queen's badges we are more than proud of you you can see this is a whole bed of strawberries and they have their mechanisms you know they improvise ways of preventing the strawberries from attacks of insects attacks of birds or the rodents you know all pests that may attack strawberries they're trying to prevent and this is the big man here the big man himself Amadou I can see you are harvesting the strawberries this is quite interesting I am like hello what's going on here do we have strawberries in the Gambia oh my god but how are you guys doing this because this is the first time I think, right? Yeah. I am I am like, wow, Gambia strawberry? With the kind of climate we have, with the kind of soil we have. And you know, Gambians don't try anything. They will be like, no, our soil cannot take strawberries. Our weather cannot take strawberries. But hello, these are big strawberries, right? You can see how healthy they are. You can see how healthy they are. Wow. So you're using the... Uh, hand picking method to harvest your strawberries. I'm, uh, Amadou, I'm quite, I'm quite amazed, thrilled, and this looks stunning to see strawberry production in the Gambia. This is not magic. You can see he's, he's harvesting them, right? You can see how he's harvesting them. Wow. This is quite interesting. I am touched. Look at those ones there. Woo, woo, woo. Oh my God, oh my God. Strawberries in the Gambia. No, this is quite interesting. Can I have a taste of just one? Can I? <laughs> I don't know if I can taste anyone here because they are right from the farm, so I need to wash one. Let me take one, right? Okay, thank you, Amadou. Thank you, Amadou. So, you can see, I am going to wash this one and taste and see how it feels, right? <laughs> this is quite interesting. Really, 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 this is quite interesting. Let me wash this one. And I'm already in jubilation. The first Gambian to eat a strawberry made in the Gambia, produced in the Gambia. Everything in the Gambia. So you know, Gambians can do it. It's just a matter of believing yourself. And uh, like honest, this is quite fascinating to be honest. 
I I am just out of words. I'm sorry of words. I don't know what to say. You can see these are very energetic young Gambians who are doing this work with a very passionate number of women number who has a passion for agriculture. And she is saying I'm not gonna wait for the government. I am gonna wait my day by myself. You can see right these are all the you know potion where strawberries are kept. This is another portion. The big production, you know. Think. Wow. So you see how they are improvising. So they improvise using some kind of black pipes here. You know, there is a way they keep them so that they can cover them with these clothings. You can see. Still cannot wash my strawberry. Looking for water. <laughs> Yes, I'm just thrilled and moved. So, yes, I see. Oh, but this cup is it's not having water. You see, great farmers doing great things. Finally, washing my strawberry. Yes. 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 I'm gonna have a taste now. Bakari is now coming to this strawberry. Yes, let me let me enjoy. Hmm, it is very nice. Wow. Hmm, very succulent and sweet. Very nice. I just hope you enjoy this. Assalamu alaikum. Baba. You're not silly game. Alhamdulillah. Jamar again. Alhamdulillah. Ligue me refed na. Bakari konate. Wow. Uncle Jao, right? Koni ola don't watch channel noon. Say telephone. Send Kane Refed and how? Wow! How are you guys doing this here? Strawberries. And I'm now seeing Pepe here. The big man himself. <laughs> I'm master. You are the master, yes. How are you? You're fine, right? Yeah. And this is Alaji for you. Yeah. Alaji, how was the wedding? It was fine. I can already see how your face is signing. <laughs> and now you are back to the farm. Yeah. Alaji, you are such a great person. Yeah. Um, but just like uh, two weeks, right? Or one week from a wedding, right? Yeah, you don't even wait for long. Yeah. You back to the farm again. One week and a half. Yeah. One week and a half? Yeah. Oh my God, what a great person. What a resilient young man, you know, who has passion for agriculture. I'm really happy and, you know, this is quite fascinating and interesting to see Gambian young men going into agriculture and giving it all their best. Thanks, Alaji. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Should go for competition as the biggest strawberry in the world. Guinness record breaker. Queen's Veggies Farm in Kanuma, the biggest strawberry. Look at this. Wow. Wow. I mean, how are you guys doing this here? I'm, I'm like, hello. Can I have some words with you, Alaji, today? Okay, you are good. Alaji, tell me, tell me, how did this all start about? How did it start? Okay, thank you very much. All this is based on uh, determination. Yes. And hard working. Uh, because this thing, I can say that uh, since before we started, uh, we were <coughs> willing to grow this uh, strawberry in this uh, farm. But uh, fortunately, uh, we were uh, searching from one place to another how to get the seeds or the seedlings. But uh, we met a uh, great man. His name is uh, Suleiman Anj from Senegal. Uh, that's the time we have a conversation with him. Then after that, uh, he told us uh, that he is having a seedlings uh, in Senegal. Uh, that's the time we bought the seedlings here and we transplanted. You can see we transplanted since 
27 October uh, 2021 up to uh, 2022. Uh, but I can say that it's, uh, um, it's very challenging. Yes, so, because, very challenging? Yeah. Okay, because, tell us. Uh, I can say that this is the first time uh, we grow these things in the, in, uh, in the garden. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, at least we have little knowledge about it, but it's not like a, we are uh, expert on growing strawberries. Food. Yes, quite growing, interesting. Uh, strawberries. But uh, you know, the interesting thing is you are trying something new. And that is what makes a person great. Yeah. You could have said, okay, I do not know much about this. How do I do this? But you know, we have the internet here. And you are a student of agriculture, right? Because the last time I came here, you were saying, okay, you studied at the Gambia College School of Agriculture, right? Yes. So tell us, how, um, where is your motivation coming from? Because after knowing that you don't have um, much knowledge about strawberry production, but you still go um, into production of strawberries, um, but where is that passion coming from? Yes, uh, because what motivates me, uh, like we can see that uh, we we are uh, importing strawberry in the Gambia. Yeah? Yes. But if we have uh, strawberry uh, in this garden, it means we will reduce the, like the importing uh, strawberry from Europe or from any other countries in in the world. That's uh, motivate us a lot, and then we know that it's very important uh, because once you are growing it, uh, many people need it. And you also, you 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 also you will get income from it, and also it can bring foreign exchange. I can see. Wow. Yes. Quite interesting. This is really interesting, and uh, I'm I'm really proud of you guys. And uh, I want to also know what are some of the challenges that you guys are facing here, because like you said, it's very challenging. So can you give us some of the challenges that you guys are facing here? Uh, yes, uh, we have a lot of challenges here uh, because what I would like to start from the uh, pests uh, because we normally have here a lot of pests uh, like the squirrel. Uh, they normally attack our crops like the, the, the they normally attack the fruits and then uh, you know when uh, I can say that the colors they are attacking them uh, so that they are they are attacking this uh, fruit. You know when immediately when they touch it, uh, it's mean. Uh, like uh, you will lose. so the quality of the yes. fruits will you yes. know you will lose fade products. away because and people also, wouldn't want to buy those things right okay the quality also will be reduced yes that's why and also uh, the, the other things we are tell, uh, we are facing here is like uh, water uh, because I can see that we are having like a shortage of water here but I think you have some tap here right yes we this have is some, a tap yes uh, we have some taps here but uh, it doesn't matter this because is a tab, right? This, this one we just uh, uh, like we just establish it uh, because of these things came from the well. Okay. Have a uh, water pump inside the well. Okay. Generate wind so that uh, we can have access to water. Okay. To water the plants. If not, uh, able to water the plants. And also, you can see like uh, if you imagine, um, the bed has a lot of weed yeah. on it because of what. Uh, it will reduce the wheat. Okay. Like, uh, we, we will not have a lot of wheat on the bed. But once you are using the pipe to water it, like uh, the, the water used to uh, spread, spread out everywhere yes. uh, on the bed. That's why the, the wheat, they have access to grow on the bed. Thank That's you. Why. Thank you, Alaji. Yes. Quite interesting. So, I would also like to take you to the side. To the side there. Okay. So you explain to us how do you, you know, improvise by covering them, protecting them also? And uh, why are, why am I seeing very big fruits? Because for the Gambians, we think that strawberries cannot grow here. So even if they were two, we, we, we assume that it should not be very big. But these strawberries are big. The fruits are big as you can imagine. So can you please tell us some of that also? Now we are now in the strawberry farm at this other side of the farm. We are in the strawberry side also you can see fruits still right good but uh, like allergy like um, uh, to be honest i'm quite baffled i'm amazed i'm thrilled you know i'm just kind of surprised 
How is this possible? Because for us, we think strawberries cannot grow in the Gambia. So even if you were to grow strawberries, we are always assuming that the fruit should not be big. But why do you have big fruits here? Yes. Can you please tell us? Yes. Uh, the reason why we have uh, these uh, big fruits is uh, the first flower the plants uh, produce, we, we, we need to uh, the flower so that uh, the, the, the upcoming flower, that, uh, that fruit will be very, very, very big uh, rather than the, the other one. Wow. That's why, because you can imagine the first flower, if you don't uh, the flower, maybe uh, you will not have a uh, big fruit uh, at the way you want it. That's okay, quite interesting. Quite interesting. So, and uh, you would be able to make how many kilos of harvest in a week? Look at this strawberry. Quite succulent, right? Interesting. Look at how big it is. I tell you, their strawberries can go for Guinness World Record biggest strawberries. And they are beautiful. Oh my God. So tell us, how many harvests can you make in a week? Yeah, it's different. Uh, I can say it's starting with Wow, eight kilos a week? But how did you do that? Because I don't know, is it that the strawberries, they just trying to compensate you by Give you more fruits or you are growing more strawberries? Tell us. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I can say that it depends on the, the fruiting and in the flower. Uh, because you can imagine if if uh, if you have a lot of flower, it means uh, the, the more you are growing, the more you are harvesting a lot of fruit. Okay. Yes. But also I am quite sure you did not start with enough of these beds, right? Maybe you started with one, two, three beds. How is it possible that you have now enough of beds now? How? Uh, okay, I can say it's uh, possible to because uh, during this time, you can say that one Okay, but also, um, uh, I don't know, uh, is it that you guys are growing the seed? How do you propagate this? Okay, this one we just uh, propagate it like uh, we bought the seedlings. Mm -hmm. Yes, we bought the seedlings from Senegal. Mm -hmm. After that, we transplant it. Then we base our management on like uh, watering, applying compost or manure. You can see we don't have a, a, like, uh, we are not applying fertilizer. So it's purely organic here. Yes, uh, everything wow. is organic farming. Uh, purely organic. Yes. Quite interesting. Because um, uh, we normally apply uh, cow dung or uh, like the compost. Mm -hmm. But right now the compost has been finished. Now we are using the cow dung, and then also this one we have uh, liquid uh, fertilizer in, uh, at home. Mm -hmm. uh, last week, before I go to the we apply it because uh, at this point they need. Uh, As they, at this point, they started flowering and fruiting. Okay. The more the water, and they, uh, that's the time you apply uh, like uh, um, fertilizer, liquid okay. fertilizer. Quite interesting. Yeah. Quite interesting. Like also, you were talking about how you you know um, grow over time to have these end of beds. You were saying that uh, you bought the seedlings, but is it also possible to do it in another way? Yes. Yes, it's very possible to do in another way. Yes. Uh, because uh, the plants, they normally produce runners. And then after that, when they produce the runners, you can cut the runners and transplant it uh, like uh, the other beds you have. Uh, because I can say each plant uh, uh, should, uh, like, um, should uh, produce maybe three to four runners. You can get uh, three to four runners from each plant. Then it's mean like if you have thousand seedlings, like if you if you manage it very well, you can have other thousand seedlings from like from the runners. Wow. Yes. Uh, wow. So can, can you please show me runners here? Yes. Can you please finish that first? Yes. You said in front you of. Can, you can see in front of me there. Yes. Uh, where? 
we have a lot of dead there. I just transplanted. Right there, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I transplanted the uh, runners there. Okay. The items, it was 200. Yes, okay. 200 uh, runners. Can you please show us the runners, how they do? Okay. These are the runners. You can see this one is already uh, uh, going inside. Okay. Yes. So if you are transplanting, you need to put this one. Okay. And also this one after you upload it. Plan. So this you mean you cut here? Yes. And also cut here? Yeah. And cut here, then you uproot, yes. then you transplant that. Yeah. Mean you have another plant from a parent yeah. plant. This one also, this one. Wow. This one is another runner. Yeah. And these are bearing fruits already. Yeah. Quite interesting. Wow. Quite interesting. I am like, wow. And yo, thank you guys. That will bring us to the end of the interview. Oh, our, our, how would I call it? Our adventure to Queen's Veggies, you know, garden in Kanuma. And thank you for staying with us. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to our channel, Manse K. Yes, I am bringing you the most interesting things that you have never think about or even if you do you've been wondering where you can see that in this part of the world that is africa for you and the gambia in particular and just to tell you we are not only doing dancing music and just that we're also doing our best in terms of agriculture and you can already see at kanuma queen's veggies um, growing the most interesting fruit in the world strawberry and with the kind of climate Gambia has, nobody would assume, nobody would think that strawberries could make it well in the Gambia. And they are just not only grown, I'm telling you, we are doing very good production. And produce are very good, as you can already see the fruits, very big, healthy, succulent and all that. And uh, before I just cut the interview, let me take you to where the packaging is also done for the strawberries. This is, these people are doing great here and this is Amur here trying to have the best yes produce to package them you could already see this is how they package you see Queen's badges Kanuma Lower Nyumi district and BR yes <laughs> quite interesting right so this is going to the market now thank you so very much for the opportunity and I uh, hope to see you again. Please subscribe. Do not forget. Thank you. Bye. And you can see here, right? This is how they improvise and to protect the seedlings, the nursery, from pests, rodents, and, you know, all those things that are going to cause trouble to the plant. You know, this is how they respect their plants. They're treating them as if they were human beings. And in indeed, they're human beings. And sometimes, you know, we are very negligent of crops and all that, but you can already see Alaji doing the work. You see, he's trying to cover up the nursery to protect them from pest. And right there, you have Amadou, yes, doing the harvest simultaneously. So nobody is idling here. Everybody is working. Nobody idles here. Yes, Amadou is harvesting. And Alaji is covering the all the seedlings here. Um, Alaji, would you please tell us the seedlings that are here? What are these? Okay, thank you very much. We have here uh, different crops. Okay. Like uh, we have the California, the sweet chili, and also the guana, the Carolina Reaper, and also the last one is the tomatoes. Brilliant. Quite interesting. Thank you. Okay, Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Asalaamu Uncle? Um, yes. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, uh, Uncle, I am Bakari Konate, but I am called Mansake. Okay. And uh, today I'm quite, you know, fascinated. Okay. Being um, uh, in this farm today, seeing things that are really quite interesting, like strawberries and some, you know, American varieties of pepper and all that. Yeah, all but, right. yes, I would want to know certain things about the garden but first what is your name please uncle i am sering modu jao normally but people used to call me uncle jao uncle jao yes uncle jao thank you um uh, i can see strawberries around here right yeah 
Um, but how was it like at the first place when you were starting this whole garden and this whole process of growing strawberries? Tell us, please. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mr. Conrad. Uh, this is a long way to improvise this thing, this crop in, here in the Gambia. Okay. Because in the first place, we don't even think this would work here. Wow. But our proprietor, being a very strong woman. A woman? And, yeah. Brilliant. Been to Ann Wheeler. Yes. She is a very, very strong woman. And she wants to see whatever comes to his head, and then he think about it for two, three days. He wants to make sure, and then that things, he make the practical, and then see what would become, what is going to be the outcome. Wow. One day she called me. Yes. And then tell me, Uncle, so I want to introduce strawberry now. I said, oh, Bindu, look, that's, a, that's very funny. <laughs> he said, why if you say it's funny? I said, because I've never seen it in here in the Gambia. So if you are in Sweden there, you see nice strawberries, and you say you want to do it in the Gambia here, so you bring a board into us. But no problem, let's try. Yes. It's the best teacher. To be honest. Yeah. Okay, one day she called me, she said she spoke to one man in Senegal. And then he, she lobbied for almost 1,000 plus seedlings, which cost her a lot of safer. When he told me, when she told me about the price he bought these seedlings, I said, oh Bindu, why can't we try and then Make the nursery here. I say, oh, let's try for this seedling first. Later we'll do that. And she bought the seedlings. Then the, part, the gardener in Senegal asked us to prepare our bed from now, from that day, against three months. Then we came as a group and then we sit and then discuss and then make our plans. Then we start making the beds. Interesting. Making the beds. Then the farm manager also been a very creative man, mm -hmm. which is Alaji. Yes. He did a wonderful job and then he used to do certain things here which I even never knew is part of garden life. Wow. Because number one, mm -hmm. he never, never go to the shop and then buy chemical. Wow. So purely organic here. Purely organic. Whenever he, he wants to, he saw some invert on stairs and the likes or diseases, he just go around and then cut certain things and then cook and then make it feel, shift everything and then put it in the pump and then pump. Everything is okay. Wow. So it's amazing. But when the strawberries are ready, yes. back to the strawberry again. Yes. When the strawberries are ready, then the man gave a call to Pinto and that, you know, your seedlings are ready for transplanting now. Yes. So, try your people to come for it and then go ahead with it. Then, being a very strong woman, yes. all the negotiation until we don't even go for the seedlings. It was prepared and then put in the fridge in Dhaka, early in the morning that bus going, coming from Dhaka, then it was there and then they gave a number and then Alaji will meet with the man and then bring the seedlings here. Brought it here. Then that very day, mm -hmm. we sit and then say, tomorrow we're going to do it. I say, oh, if you if you want to do it tomorrow morning, yes. then it has to be dealing with the sun again. It's yes. going to be a problem. Yes. Now what we'll do is, let's take the burden and then go right now. Wow. It was around 6 o'clock in the evening. No wonder she will always say, where person meets competence. Competence, in the... yes. So they all agree, then we move. We came here as some minutes after six o'clock, then we start, water the bed and then everything was moist. Then around eight o'clock we start transplanting. We were here up to ten o'clock at night. So you started work from what time? From from six o'clock in the evening. Wow. That very day. Yes. Six o'clock in the evening. Yes. Till ten o'clock at night. To wow. complete the whole transplant. So it means you were working for at least four hours. Four hours to make the transplanting. Wow. Possible. And we don't want to see any. Oh remaining. my God. Yeah. Oh my so God. So I think that would also contribute to the product we are seeing now. 
Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Because had it been, we say, oh, let's leave it till tomorrow. Yes. Then the settling would be. They will malinga. Malinga or they wouldn't be very Lincoln, strong. And then they will not be strong. They so. might not even stand the adversities okay. of the weather here. This is right. Thank you very much. Thank you. I know you know gardening. I am a chef. <laughs> not a gardener. But now you but, are doing gardening. Yes, I've been doing it for some periods of time. Then I left the field. I go to the hotel industry. I become a chef. And now work, back to the farm. And now, being a, I'm a chef right now, but still I'm playing this. Program. Oh my God! So it's amazing. Quite interesting. So Thank you. That's so why very much. these products are looking good like this. Thank because you. Because so of very the burden much. we take, and then that very night. And uh, you're gonna reap the benefit one day inshallah, because, inshallah. you know, imagine how many people feed from this mm -hmm. insects, pest. Yeah. Even though that is not a desire, but once you know birds feed from this mm -hmm. you feed in some animals yeah and that is a blessing too okay yes so quite interesting okay, i think and the second this thing, is the best and interview we still ever have challenges yes so the challenges number one challenges yes is water water if you stand here you can see the taps yes and if somebody said we have challenges of water and the staff is standing it looks really it, close right yeah yes and it, it would be like something very funny funny yes but you can come over yes You see this well? Wow, a well? A well, yeah. Yes. This Let us go inside. To start the garden. Wow. But unfortunately, yes. It's all rock inside. Rock inside? Everything is rock inside. Wow. If you want to dig even two inches, mm -hmm. it takes you maybe one day. Wow. It's very solid, it's very hard inside. Wow. So, if you want to use local means of pulling out water mm -hmm. it takes time indeed and then people and a lot of things people will be tired the amount of water that's supposed to go to the crops we cannot able to do it indeed and still the strong lady came to it again mm -hmm. and say hence this is the issue i will bring a pumping machine with a generator then in the, if you come, then you can use that one and then pump the water out and then lay pipes and the taps and then they do, do, do the watering. Wow, quite interesting. Thank very you, interesting. Uncle. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bakari. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Now we are here. I can see like an abandoned, should I call it house? Should I call it shed net? Should I call it greenhouse? I don't know what the, the name I should even <laughs> give no, it. These things have no name right now. Yes? Because as you can see. Yes. This is a collapse project. A collapse? It's a collapse one. Wow. Because Tell us more about this. As I told you, yes. the, the strong lady called me and then said, mm -hmm. you want to make a greenhouse the whole garden. Wow. Okay. I said, okay, that's good. If you can go for it. He said, but we're going to start mm -hmm. 30 meters by 25 meters. Yes, 30 so, meters by 15, sorry. So these are 30 by? So to 15 me, uh, 25 meters by 15. 25 by 15. 15, 15 yes. Quite interesting. So she came and then we start yes. trying to negotiate. Yes. She bought this plastic from Sweden, a lot of money. And then transported it all along from Sweden. Wow. And then we, we look for a well demand to well these frames. That is how passionate you people are. Yeah. Then we weld the frames and then with the with the welder man up to the last day to put these things on top. Yes. But unfortunately it would not it, it doesn't work. So tell us how did it fail? What made this fail? Because of uh, maybe the um, the person we constructed we, we contracted to do this greenhouse. Yes. I feel to my own idea, mm -hmm. he have less idea about greenhouse, and he doesn't want to tell us. Oh, so he he was not honest to you. Honest people. to us, and okay. then he didn't tell us that he don't he have less idea about this greenhouse concept. Wow. So that was how it failed. It failed. Yeah, he was put here. So it was not strong, and then the storm came and then scattered everything. Wow. The storm, right? Yeah, the storm, yeah. Okay. So, but do you have any future plans? Do you yeah. still have any plans to want to continue yeah. this? Our future plan is now, instead of the greenhouse, yes. 
Our future plan is to make it a set net. A set net? A set net. Wow. We want to change it as a set, set net. And then if you can look at that other end also. Yes. We want to build an other one there. Okay. And extend this one. Okay. Finally, we want to set the whole farm. Wow. That is our future plan. And uh, would that translate you want to now concentrate purely on strawberry production? Yeah. Because we even thinking, I was even talking with the proprietor other times, sometimes last week. She said, I'm thinking of even to abandon all crops except strawberry in this farm. Then we'll Just look purely farm, strawberry. Purely crop. strawberry. And then we oh. look for an other farm and then do chilies and the like, vegetables and other vegetables. Then. And that will be like hotels in the Gambia will you be see, smiling. <laughs> really? That huge importation and, really, you know, really, and cost and all that. Really? Oh, quite interesting. Definitely. Thank you, Uncle. Thank, Thank you, you so Bobby. very Thank much. You I'm really happy. Yeah, I'm fascinated. Yeah, and yeah. I am humble. Because for you to grant me this interview and everything, visit the farm. Thank yes, you. and guys, thank you. Bye. Have a nice day. Yes. And today, I am the happiest boy. Very happy. Very happy because, yes, I came to their own garden and had the biggest harvest. See the strawberry. It can even go for Guinness competition, right? Guinness World Record, biggest strawberry. So I am very lucky, right? Yeah, very lucky. You know, I came to Kanuma at Queen's Veggies and I was just searching. You know, I'm on the trying his best. He said, no, let me go and try, see if I can have the best harvest. And I had the best harvest today, the biggest strawberry. Mm, very chocolate, right? <laughs> okay, Alaji. I can see the wind is blowing strongly, but still everything is covered and they are not moving. How are you doing that? You yeah. guys are interesting. Because uh, you can see uh, we just cut the remaining pipe after we just uh, cut it like this. Mm -hmm. Then so once you are killing it, just gonna put it like this so <gasps> that the wind cannot remove it. Wow, and that is why. You can see also this one, the same thing. Very strong. You can see. Wow. Then after. Who is the guy behind all of these ideas? <laughs> Everybody. Everybody. I like that. <laughs> so it means not just you. I like that. It's a teamwork, right? Yes, teamwork. Oh my God. <laughs> Everybody. Oh. Because, uh, the time we were doing this, um, it was maybe almost ten people. Yes. Wow. Yes, a lot of people were, were here. Then we we did the job. Uh, together and they also this net also this so are you telling me you guys are the strongest soldiers yes yes we are the doing strongest the strongest soldiers. fight yeah because everything we are doing we used to come together wow yeah. it's not only one see individual. how everything is it's covered everyone. by improvisation right these are like old nets but how how beautiful look at this look at this huh oh my god